As you can see on your screen right there, Deontay Wilder vs Titan Fury is on and it will be on BT Sport box office. In other words, pay-per-view. This is what Frank Warren wants. He's been looking to do pay-per-view for quite some time and now he's got this one. In addition to this one, let's quickly switch to Carl Frampton. Of course, he won tonight over Luke Jackson, nine rounds, very dominant. And his corner through the towel in round number nine. So he will take on Josh Warrington. Again, no day and venue. Now, even Frank Warren said, yeah, the fight's on, everything's done, no day and venue. We know roughly the venue is gonna be Las Vegas, but the exact date, we don't know right now, it's not done, but yet the fight is signed. Hmm, Team Wilder, why is this fight signed, but yet you wouldn't sign Joshua because you didn't have a day and venue? Even though you knew it was gonna be at Cardiff in Wales at the Principality Stadium. You knew it was going to be the last week of October or the first week of November, but yet you stalled signing this contract that you agreed the terms on, but yet here you are signing for Tyson Fury. Strange that, isn't it? Isn't that weird? The contradictions of Team Wilder are outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So, What's all the Wilder fans got to say about that one? Was it really Joshua who didn't want the fight? He sent him a contract to terms that Wilder agreed for, $15 million, the fight will be next, and it will be at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. We don't know the date yet, but it'll be the last week of October or the first week of November. No, it was not going to be at Wembley because they couldn't do pay-per-view in September due to Canelo and Triple G before anybody tries to get a little bit smart on that one. Hence the reason why Josh is fighting Povetkin September 22nd, and it will be on pay-per-view in the UK, but it's not gonna be pay-per-view in America. It will be on DAZN, but not pay-per-view. They wanted it pay-per-view, Showtime wanted it pay-per-view, but they couldn't do it in September. So again, Wilder's team, you have dropped the ball. You have just exposed yourself. Big time exposed yourself. You refused to sign Joshua, because of the date and the venue. All your fanboys, all the channels out there saying, well, who signs a fight with no date and venue? Even though we all knew Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, right? We all knew this one. And we knew roughly when. It was just a two week difference. We didn't quite know what weekend it was out of two weekends. We didn't know which one. Potentially three weekends. So, yeah, he's signing for Tyson Fury with no date, no venue. Strange that, isn't it? Frank Warren, when he confirmed there's no date and venue yet, that will be announced soon. Drop the ball. Team Wilder, you dropped the ball. You really did. Yet again, exposed as frauds. You didn't want the fight with Joshua. You never did. It was all about AJ. All of it was. And this whole build up with Tyson Fury is going to be about Anthony Joshua. All your fanboy channels are going to be talking about Anthony Joshua. They're not going to be talking about this fight. They're going to be talking about Joshua and Eddie Hearn. You guys just been exposed. Drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.